Hello. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> okay, I think that this was a little bit of a crazy week, and I think it's partly my fault, like a big part. So, uh, the problem that I see is that I, the directions that I wrote for making the relief sculpture were not in the folder, and I didn't notice it until after the due date, which is, you know, today. Um, this is Monday. And so what I'm thinking is that a lot of you weren't really sure what to do. Okay, we need to soften our clay. We can carve into it and add on to it. And then what? You know, because I didn't have the pouring directions. So um, if you can, you know, complete that assignment uh, within the next few days, I won't count you as late, but I just, I don't want you to run into next week either. You know, if you can um, wrap it up and get something done within the next few days, we should be good. Okay. So uh, Michael reached out for help and uh, he had an idea about using reusable clay, the kind of clay that stays soft. And um, I thought that was a great idea. And he had already purchased that product and he started working on this dinosaur, uh, lizard man, uh, could be, you know, number of things, I guess. Um, this is beautiful, right? But it wasn't a relief per se. It, it, uh, a relief has to be attached to a background, right? So I suggested just, you know, covering something with your clay and attaching it to that background. And that worked out just beautifully. This is beautiful. I definitely think that when it's dry, you should paint it. Unless you want it to look like a fossil. I don't know. Pretty cool, though. Okay, so that was the only person that, you know, with some help from me, <laughs> was he able to um, get this all done. So hopefully you guys are in the process of working on that, like I said. And I'll look forward to seeing your work. Same with uh, the sketchbook this week. We got Michael. I think. Hold on. It's just not playing because I'm... I mean clicking, because I'm recording, I have to do little tricks. There, that's good. It's not making my life easier. Okay, so here, here's what we'll be doing next week. So next week we'll be carving into plaster, and that will be really fun. You guys will love it. You can sand it, you can smooth it, it's it's just really fun. And, you know, obviously it doesn't have to be of Renaissance quality. Um, it can just be a design. But these are great examples, and this is Michael's sketchbook. And this is what, we'll, yeah, I already said that. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Alrighty, well that's all for now. We covered what we could. And uh, like I said, reach out to me if you need anything, and uh, I will talk to you all soon.